<laughs> I am majorly in need of a reset. I guess the easiest thing to always do is clean. Cleaning doesn't take much mental capacity. Capacity? Capacity. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to blast the music and clean the flat so at least I have a clean space. Stay hydrated. Okay, we're gonna try and still seize the day. I mean, it's nearly 5 p.m., which means that most of the museums and like gardens and stuff will be closing soon. I feel like there'll be a few cafes open. First, I wanna talk about the class which I was taking with Skillshare, which is this new one that I've started. It's called Modern Meditation, Discover Your Potential, Power and Purpose with Justin Michael Williams. And honestly, I think it came at the perfect time. I just finished the first day and it's a 10 day meditation course, which includes guided meditations and also prompts to reflect on and journal. I've definitely dipped in and out of practicing meditation over the past few years, more so dipped out. And what I love about this class is it definitely caters towards beginners like me or people who need a helping hand whenever it comes to knowing how to approach meditation and how to make it work for you. I'm excited to see where it goes. You guys know that I've worked with Skillshare a bunch in the past. I love their classes and I love the range of options that they have, literally classes from fine art illustration to productivity finance and then to ones like this which is more catered towards self-care and relaxation where I really feel like I can learn a little bit more about myself. If you're feeling similar and want to join me on my meditation journey or try one of their other classes, Skillshare are offering the first 1000 of you who click the link in my description. I'll also have it on screen a one month free trial of Skillshare and you can try out the full range of their classes but I'll keep you updated with how I'm going and let's get going. to make a noodle, soba noodles with vegetables and a peanut miso sauce because I finally bought some Asian ingredients. We're listening to favorite podcast of all time, my queen Lexi. Adore her. Um, and yeah.
It was storming all yesterday afternoon and evening and I woke up to water still being on the ground. Um, but the air feels lighter, like it felt kind of cathartic, a little bit of pathetic fallacy. I definitely feel a little bit lighter today. The past few days I've been really in my own head. I've also been alone and I haven't actually been alone alone for, well, I've been living with Lois since the start of July, but we've had people visiting for the past three weeks and then I went to Apulia. Mm. Guys, like, I'm introverted. My social battery runs out pretty quick and, you know, I may come across this, I'm definitely like an extroverted introvert, like, I can talk to people most of the time, but like, I need to come home and like recharge and be on my own. I think when I came back from Puglia, I just crashed for a few days and stayed in the flat. I literally didn't leave the apartment. Yesterday was a little bit of a reset day. I cleaned the apartment, kind of got myself together, tried to take myself out for coffee, did some journaling, wrote down a lot of stuff. So I woke up today feeling a lot more ready to take on the day and do some more things. I think I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit, not stressed, displaced, unsettled. I mean, I, I am unsettled. Like I don't have a base at the moment. I don't have an apartment to go home to, but I haven't really planned my next steps. The idea was to go to Greece. So I'm kind of looking at Airbnbs, but it's a little bit overwhelming because there's so many beautiful islands and so many options and I haven't been to Greece. I could also go back to London and spend more time there with my friends before I leave again. Mm. Thank you. 